everyone, and welcome to The Financial Room. I'm your host once again, Natasha Bridge-Mohan. Thank you for joining us. And we are in the month of June. It's getting warmer. Uh, there are better news in our way coming in, re in regards to COVID-19. Hope you and your family are keeping safe. Now, you know, I, we, I just had to try something new regarding the set. I hope you guys like it. Please share your feedback with me and give me good, uh, ideas. I'm always open to great ideas. Last year, because of COVID, we were unable to launch uh, my book. Uh, I shared a book launch with four other authors. It's called The Power Within. As you see on the screen, please, uh, I encourage you to read it. Read it with your children. It's a really great, uh, you know, motivational uh, book about my life and how I became an entrepreneur in the financial sector. And you can find it on Amazon. It is for sale and uh, it is very, very worth a good read on your couch with a cup of tea or should I say Milo or Oval Tea. Um, anyhow, our topic is going to be everything you need to know about closing costs. So when you are purchasing a home only, we're not talking about refinancing, we're just going to make it specifically for those that are purchasing a home and what type of closing costs you need to be prepared for. So general, the general rule of thumb is if you are buying a home to uh, put aside three to five percent of the purchase price to cover closing costs. So what are closing costs? Closing costs are traditionally fees, uh, fees that you have to pay that are not covered by your mortgage. So you cannot add it on your mortgage. It cannot be capitalized. It has to be paid out of your pocket. So once again, the general rule of thumb is three to 5% of the purchase price you must have aside. And again, if you do have extra money, then you can use that for furnishing your home, any surplus created from that. So let's talk about some fees. Appraisal fees can range anywhere between 300 to thousand dollars in residential homes. So, and that must be paid out of your pocket. Legal fees and disbursements can range anywhere between 1500 to 2500 just for legal fees plus disbursements especially if you're using the same lawyer to uh, represent you in the sale of your current home and for a purchase too as well survey most lenders require a copy of your survey and if you don't have one you your lawyer has to order one and that could be anywhere between 800 to a thousand uh, sorry anywhere from 750 to a thousand dollars if I can correct myself and of course interest adjustments so the lender will hold back interest adjustments uh, for the portion of the remaining month for you so that is something that's very highly forgetting forgetful from um, borrowers who are purchasing that they have to pay two three thousand dollars in interest in order to align the mortgage uh, for the following month payment statement of adjustments your lawyer also will be doing portion uh fee portion uh allocation for property tax allocation for the remaining years utilities that may be owed and uh, so forth so those are things that also is on um so, so sometimes forgetful and sometimes title insurance could be anywhere from 500 to thousands of dollars depending on your purchase price and the uniqueness of your property and of course home inspection is anywhere between three to five hundred bucks depending on the uniqueness of the property all of this can total and add up very very quickly and it, you can be short on your closing thousands of dollars so again you make sure that you plan because if you fail to plan you plan to fail three to five percent of the purchase price is what you should have put aside and we are always here for you pick up the phone we have great rates great investment rates too as well let's be a part of changing your financial life at the bridge group of companies home of all of your financial needs always thank you for your time today and talk to you soon